finally, the story of a couple who always had a penchant for collecting relics from the past. In a way, their hobby led them to finding and buying an historic old farmhouse in Giles County. And as Susan Watson discovered, the result, a perfect place for their special collection. This beautiful farmhouse was 26 years old when Robert Laird purchased the property from his brother-in-law who had built the place in 1831. Now it remained in the family until 2002 when it passed into the loving and hard-working hands of Don and Benita Rulo. The house was in disrepair and we knew we were going to have to do an enormous amount of restoration and reclamation, but it was love at first sight. We retired and we wanted something to keep our, all our artifacts together in, and so we fell in love with this place. With the roof, porch, and exterior trim replaced, work began inside. New paint, antique furniture, and period-appropriate window treatments restored the stately old home to her former beauty. And then Don and Benita made the home truly theirs by appointing every room with their various treasured collections. I love ceramics and pottery and dishes. And I have a lot <laughs> of those things. In the kitchen and in the breakfast room, are a collection of English Staffordshire transfer ware. There are a number of English Victorian Staffordshire figurines. I was impressed by their straightforwardness, their charm, their simplicity, but the figurines are just, uh, to me, they're just delightful. An upstairs bedroom is now home to another of Benita's delightful collections. It's filled with dolls and children's toys that date back to the 1860s. Don's pride and joy is his private collection of Civil War weaponry and memorabilia from both Union and Confederate forces. I started this probably when I was a kid collecting Civil War money and bits and pieces here and there. And I guess didn't really start getting serious in it until about 30 years ago. I don't like to collect just one particular item on Civil War. I kind of like to collect what all men and women use during that time period. Dedicated students of history, Don and Benita know the stories behind every artifact in their museum. There's a tear bottle down here. It was fashionable to collect your tears. So if your fiancé had gone off to service, you could collect your tears and cork them, and then when he came home on furlough, you could show him how much you had cried for him. And believe it or not, this Mississippi rifle hanging on the wall is also a symbol of undying love and devotion for Don and Benita. Well, I was engaged to get married. And this rifle came on the market, a friend of mine had it, and, and better, rather than buying an engagement ring, I bought an engagement rifle and gave it to my wife, so <laughs> that's why it's there. <laughs> had a hard time getting it on her finger, but it, <laughs> she's looking for a bayonet for it. <laughs> Don and Benita take great pleasure in their beautiful home and interesting collections but their pleasure is doubled when they're able to share it with others. I do luncheons. We do tours of the house. We've had over 20 weddings and wedding receptions in the last two and a half years that we've been doing this. I've done elegant dinners. It's just a wonderful place. It's a restful place. It's a comforting place. The Rulos love being here at home at Lairdland, surrounded by all the precious pieces of history that connect them to the past. There is a continuum of life, and you feel it in this place. 
When I go down those stone steps that are worn, I say, how many women for 176 years have walked down these steps? Who were they? What were their lives like? Were they old? Were they young? Were they black? Were they white? Were they free? Were they slaves? Were they happy? Were they sad? Were they sick? Were they healthy? I don't know. I wish I did. But you, you know that they're there. With such a rich past to protect, Don and Benita have created a trust for the farmhouse and its contents. Now they feel that they can safely send Lairdland into the future. So that when we're no longer here to protect it, it can still be a place that people can come to and enjoy. That's our hope. It's got 176 years of history. It shouldn't be forgotten. <laughs>